guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Fossil Friday. So in today's video we're going to be talking about a recent discovery along the Somerset coast here in England. Now this discovery was made by Ruby and Justin Reynolds and is of a giant ichthyosaur. So for those less familiar, ichthyosaurs, I actually have a specimen on my wall here, were these kind of like dolphin marine reptiles that roamed the seas during the Mesozoic era. Now, the giant ichthyosaur wouldn't have been this size, so it would have been around 20 to 26 metres long, making it the biggest marine reptile ever, which is pretty crazy to wrap your head around. And so the bones that were found by Ruby and Justin were actually a very important discovery because they solidified a discovery that was made previously in 2016, so eight years ago. So this discovery was made by Paul de la Salle and they actually described these bones and they described it as a new species, but because this was the only example of this new species they had, they needed another one to kind of really set it in stone and that's exactly what's happened here. So it is a new species, so it's the Ichthyotitan sevenensis, um, which is quite a cool name. I always love it when they put Titan in it because you just know it's humongous, um, which is exactly what this ichthyosaur was. And the bones that they actually found are of the lower jaw. So it's called the serangular and it's this curved bit of the upper lower jaw. So this bit here, so I'll insert a diagram here and you can see it in orange, it's kind of this U-shaped bit before the teeth should start. And so you can understand that this isn't a massive piece of bone in comparison to the entire skeleton. These bones, even though they don't represent the entire skeleton or the entire skull, were still very, very large. So they were around three foot long. And so you can kind of imagine when you put it in an equation and you work out, well, if we use an example like this ichthyosaur here, and we kind of replicate that, and if that bone is this big, then the whole ichthyosaur must be 25 meters big, and that's when it gets pretty crazy. So for those of you who don't use meter metrics, that's 82 foot long. So this really was a beast, and they were roaming our Triassic seas, and the really cool thing about these discoveries actually mean that the family of this species pushes by 13 million years. So one three that is. Um, so it actually means that when we thought these creatures died out, they didn't. So it's kind of made quite a key scientific discovery in terms of the paleontological world. So very cool. And Ruby, who was only, she was quite young at the time, and I think she became a published scientist at 15, which is just awesome. So Ruby, if you're watching this, Congratulations, that's very amazing. No other bones have been found of this species um, here in Somerset, so we only have these lower jaw bones. So obviously the hope is that we'll find larger fossils, you know, more complete ones, maybe a complete skull, or even the complete skeleton would be incredible for science. So the key thing to remember here is we've used other specimens of ichthyosaurs to estimate the size of these creatures, and even though they are a new species, we're presuming they follow kind of the normal ichthyosaur trends in terms of how their bodies relate to other bones, etc. It, it would be very entertaining though if it turns out this new species of ichthyosaurs actually have a humongous head and a really tiny body. Now, it wouldn't really work in terms of movement, you know, they, they have to support that head, so chances are they follow the same trends, but um, that would be a very funny mistake. Well, we're theorising here, we haven't actually found the rest of the bones yet. Hopefully we'll find more bones over time and more complete parts of these creatures so that we can really solidify the science, but it would just be very entertaining if we've uh, made a presumption here that is completely wrong. <laughs> So ichthyosaur directly translates to fish lizard, and so ichthyotitan severensis directly translates to giant fish lizard of the Severn. And now the Severn comes into it because it was found near the River Severn here in England, for those curious. And then ichthyotitan, self-explanatory, titan means humongous, and ichthy means fish lizard. So you can kind of string it all together. So it's quite a literal translation, but I think a very well chosen one. So the scary part of this creature, despite its size, is the fact that it's presumed to have still been growing. So they actually did some studies where they took core samples of the bones and they studied the kind of structure of them, and they determined that this wasn't fully grown. So at the time of death, this creature wasn't its largest, and so to hear that news and then also estimate the size of it being, you know, around 25 metres or 82 foot, it's kind of like, huh, how, how big did these get and when are we going to find, you know, those fossils, which will be really amazing if we do turn up any, especially here in England. I mean, we're finding the jawbones, so 
fingers crossed there might be some more in there. But this just goes to show why it's so important for scientists to work with fossil collectors and fossil hunters because sometimes they are the people who are making the discoveries that are really important to science because a scientist or a paleontologist cannot be on the coast every single day checking for what's being you know eroded out the cliff so it's really important to kind of work together as a community to always document what is found so that those key discoveries can make their way into kind of literature and scientific studies so that we can constantly be adapting and evolving our theories of the past worlds but it's not all down to the experts it really is down to everyone working together and this is a perfect example of this and Ruby and Justin they correlated these giant jaw bones with ichthyosaurs with the previous paper they, they knew what they found like they, they were really good at what they were doing and so rightfully so they were named authors on the recent paper which I'll link down below so if you guys would like to check out any of the studies published I'll um, put them in the description box so you can read around this topic a bit more and understand the awesome world of giant ichthyosaurs because it's very cool. So that's all I got for you guys today, but I really hope you enjoyed today's video learning a bit more about the Ichthyotitan severensis, um, which is the first of its kind, well, new species, um, but two of them. So two specimens have been found, which is pretty cool. But please like and subscribe if you did enjoy. I'll link my other social media down below if you'd like to follow me on there. But thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.